Hi there. Welcome. How are you? Welcome to What the Flick. Christy Lemire and Alonzo Duralde and Jason Card is Hi. here. Hello. So we've got a lot of news to talk about. We've got some trailers for you. We've got some breaking news for you. We've got some reviews later on today. It is a veritable cornucopia of movie type stuff. Um, but first of all, we should mention to you that we have an app. There's an app. There's a it's whole true. TYT app. You could enjoy shows like ours from the comfort of your own jeans pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you see fit. Um, that would be tyt.com slash app. That is free. And you can get all your favorite Young Turks Network shows whenever you want them. You don't have to have like, you know, a, a DVR thing set, a moment <laughs> set on your phone. You can just watch What's it. a DVR, Grandma? Right, what, so there are these things called beta tapes that you pop in and then you beta press tapes. it down. Yes. Yes. We used to have the sound of music on beta and Wizard of Oz. I'm an old person. So um, anyway, <laughs> that's the app. That's good for you. Enjoy it. So um, we have so much news, you guys. Um, Quentin Tarantino is doing a movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You may have heard of it. We've done a few segments on it. And because Quentin Tarantino is Quentin Tarantino, he can't just like you know, do stuff with CGI, right? He has to physically go and transform Hollywood Boulevard to look like it did in 1969. So some footage has come out. Um, there's like many, many minutes of like vintage cars going back and forth on Tarantino's newly transformed Hollywood Boulevard. If you guys are from LA, if oh, you've ever visited LA, what's The that? Vogue Theater. The yeah. Vogue Theater, yeah, this does not exist. Um, some things do still exist, like Musso and Frank's, which is down the street from this stuff. Next door, right, yeah, still right, there. Centuries yep. old. Yep. Right. Um, you can still get tongue there, probably. Right. To quote Brian on Family Guy, Musso and Frank's is famous. So, <laughs> um, so he has meticulously redone the street, and in, what's nutty about this is that it's right near Hollywood and Highland, which is a notoriously busy part of Los Angeles at all times of the day. Right. Yes. So I don't know how he pulled this off where he like corralled and quarantined, you know, tourists in the middle of the summer to make his The movie. devil. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I, it's weird. Conversely, this is a city that knows how to shoot movies and how to set up for shooting movies, and yet we so rarely get to do it because everybody's going to get tax breaks in Georgia or Vancouver right. or wherever. So, you know, here's a movie that's actually set in LA and they're shooting in LA in LA at the locations, but they are making this effort to to like bring back the Pussycat Theater, yeah. for instance, you know. To I mean the Vogue is still sort of there, but like they've spruced up the marquee to right. make it look new. Um, so I think it's kind of exciting that that I'm sure there's a lot of set dressers and just people who know how to put up traffic cones who are like, yes, <laughs> I'm back at work. Also, this so yeah, you can do whatever you want in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I am a huge fan of Quinn's uh, cinematic genius. I think Quentin, th are you friends? Um, yeah, Q um, yes. <laughs> Q me and Q, tight, tight. But um, I think that this is his penultimate film. Yes, this is the last. This is his ninth before his tenth. He says only Do we know that film. for sure? I mean, that, that's what he said when he. <laughs> to go back to Burt Backrack, promises, promises. promises, promises. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we want that authenticity. We we don't. Sometimes we we want more than just a lazy CGI installment in a film. I think that him being able to do this is just. Leaning on the magic of of what we're gonna get from this movie, the Sharon Tate murders. I mean, will we be will, 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 we would be really upset if he didn't give us this level of uh, old Hollywood glam. I, I wish more directors were this analog. Like, I mean, you remember the Nice Guys? They had the, there was a sort of the crumbling Hollywood sign and the Jaws billboards and stuff, but they were very CG. Right. Here are some photos that right. uh, our audio yes. maestro uh, Bart Kyle took at the. This is the Chinese theater. Sorry, the the Cinerama the Dome. Dome converted to look like what it looked. Like in the late sixties with Krakatoa East of Java. Yes, who can forget? Is that a, movie a real you've movie? Seen? Yes. Have you seen that? Okay. I have not seen it, but it's sort of infamously whatever. Okay. Uh, cool. But but you know they 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 certainly when it was new they had a big ad campaign for it and the and, and he's recreated all those billboards and signs. Right. And stuff. So beyond the meticulous you know costume and set design production design, there's an actual story here too, yes. and it takes place right as you mentioned during the uh, the Manson murders in 1969 that summer here in Los Angeles and. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Um, they are a, uh, a TV actor and his stunt double, and they get enmeshed in all of the craziness. Margot Robbie is Sharon Tate, and it's an amazing cast. It's people who have you know been around forever, like 
Al Pacino and Kurt Russell and Burt Reynolds, and you also have like Dakota Fanning and James Marsden. So it's an interesting cross section of people. And if you movie. only know Sharon Tate as a murder victim, go watch Valley of the Dolls and <laughs> like, deal with how awesome she was as an actress and how incredibly beautiful and talented. And you know, you can. There's a lot to be goofed on in Valley of the Dolls. I'm the first to admit. <laughs> but Sharon Tate is not among them. Her death scene is genuinely moving, and uh, her performance is quite lovely. And she was extraordinary. And her death was a tragedy. And she sort of. Unfortunately, now best remembered for her role in this sort of, you know, grisly murder scheme. But you know, she was a she was a human being, and she was a talented actress. And I would like for that not to be forgotten. Well, I can imagine that perhaps that is part of his motivation, Tarantino's motivation in making a movie like this, is to go beyond just the fetishization of Sharon Tate and and look at her as no, 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 no hear me out. Listen hear to what out. you're saying. <laughs> you want Tarantino no. to go beyond fetishization? No, but in, in terms of like he's he. Loves Loves film so much, mm, so yeah. to, to go beyond just like the image and the hype to actually like dig into the nitty gritty. Anyway, mm. we do, we, do we know who's is, playing is, Roman Polanski? Um, I do not know. I know that <laughs> Damian Lewis is playing Steve McQueen. Anyway, this is coming out next July. We will definitely follow its many, many uh, twists and turns along the way.